Hi, welcome to Find Tomorrow, here with Stephen Peake of Barracuda. Um, we've just recorded a video on actually why we need to back up Office 365. So if you haven't watched that video, highly recommend that you go back and, and watch that video. So we just wanted to uh, record a short follow-up where we could actually demonstrate what Barracuda is doing and show the kind of dashboard and how easy it is to set up. Um, so Stephen, over to you. Can you uh, show us what's going on inside uh, Barracuda Cloud to Cloud? Yeah, sure. So. Barracuda Cloud to Cloud Backup is managed through our Barracuda Cloud Control Platform. Uh, ultimately, you've got the services down the left-hand side here, and up the top, you've got your various features within the platform. What we're looking at here is a dashboard. Okay. Uh, the dashboard ultimately gives you a high-level high overview of the statistics of information that you've backed up. You can see up on here, we've got our three sources. So in the previous video, we talked about how we cover OneDrive, Exchange, and SharePoint. It's not just about backup yep. of email. Uh, and so each one of those sources are connected into the platform. We talked about simplicity. So simplicity is sources. Okay. Our sources are two clicks yep. and they're connected to the platform, which is great. So we haven't got like a day long process to get this configured working with our Office 365. No, exactly. It's a connected to your Office 365 instance, give it the right permissions and away you go. Okay. Okay. And you can see here, they're all connected uh, and ready to go. We then set, you up, set up our schedules. Okay, so our schedules is about selecting what we want to back up. Okay. And you can see here, uh, we've got three set up here for each source. And if I just click into here and you can see, we give it a name, you can select the source and that'll load in a moment. And then you can see down the bottom, we've got our days of the week to select from. And we can also do a specific time window or we can do multiple backups through the day. For okay. instance, if you want to back up your data from 8 to 8, then we can do, say, four-hour increments sure. between those times. And where, when you say backup, where does the data go? So the data is ultimately coming from your Office 365 yep. environment across to Barracuda's cloud, okay. and so that's local to the relevant region you're in. Fantastic. Uh, in, across EMEA and, and America. Okay, fantastic. Once you've set up a schedule, uh, important these days is about how long you retain your data. Yeah. And so we have retention policies. The retention policies are, at, are assigned to each schedule. Okay. So that allows you to have granular retention policies. That means that yeah, you can back up, for instance, your financial mailbox, for instance. Yeah. Um, and keep that for seven years. Okay. But you may back up just your general business and keep that a year on year. And in terms of licensing from the users, are they paying for the length of time they're holding that data inside the environment? No. So you can see here on the screen, uh, we will let you hold that data forever. Okay. Um, we don't really mind. But what we would always recommend is you consider the business requirements sure. that you have to the likes of the Information Commissioner's Officer, officer and also your uh, GDPR requirements. Definitely. Uh, so you can see here, we've, this is just an example we've got, but you can actually go in and specify uh, the days for how long we keep those four, day, four hourly increments, okay. uh, the days for your week, dailies, and then into weeklies, monthlies, and so on. Sure. So just like you see from a traditional on-premise backup solution, but we're giving you it nice and simple within a cloud interface. Okay. So you would enter your details as, as you want. From there, you've backed up your data. The last piece of the puzzle is ultimately restoration. A backup, backup isn't much good without that restoration. <laughs> exactly. And so what we have is a uh, restore browser. Uh, so our restore browser allows you to uh, look at ultimately selecting your date, so your point of recovery, and then allows you to drill into your various sources that you've backed up. So you, again, you're seeing this uh, so it's a similar interface through each page. Okay. You're always working with sources which are Exchange, OneDrive, and SharePoint. Okay. Uh, that doesn't mean we have to recover the whole source. Sure. We can start to drill in. Uh, and for instance, if I open this OneDrive, you'll see in a moment, we see the folder structure. Okay. Uh, and then you can even drill into the folder structure itself and start going down to item by item level. Okay. So you've got a real granular level of recovery. It's not, I need to just go and re recover Kate's OneDrive folder. We can actually go in and do individual documents or folders inside of that. Exactly, yeah. yes. I won't drill right the way down no, here, yeah. but you can see the structure. Key here is actually we can, we can select multiple. Uh, and up the top right here, we can choose to restore the selected items. Yeah. Or if, for instance, you're uh, gathering information for, say, a user that's left your business, you can choose to download that information direct to the PC that okay. you're using the administrator console on. Sure. Uh, so if we collect re click restore, you'll see we get a nice simple interface again asking, do you want to put it back where it came from? Yeah. 
or do you want to put it somewhere else? Uh, and that new location ultimately can be into someone else's OneDrive okay. or someone else's exchange. So maybe box. a lever or something like that. Someone that's left the business, you then had a request to recover some data from their OneDrive. You could put it into their manager's OneDrive uh, for recovery. E exactly. Yes. Okay. And it's as simple as clicking restore now. Okay. And away we go. Fantastic. So that's really nice and easy, quick and easy to set up. You get to choose how often it is going to be backing up that data, and then restoration is just a few clicks away. Exactly. Fantastic. Well, that was really good. Thank you ever so much for showing us. Um, hopefully that's been useful to you. Hopefully you understand the Barracuda Cloud to Cloud uh, product now. You can either purchase that individually or part of uh, their essentials uh, suite of products that is all around kind of protecting Office 365. Um, so head over to computerworld.co.uk if you'd like some more information, pricing or a demonstration for you. Thank you.